girl channel it's your girl kanaya dobbins coming to you with another video if you are new welcome if you are not welcome back before we get into the video i just want to give you a quick little update on vlogmas i have recorded the 23rd the 24th and the 25th so the 23rd and the 24th all i did was wrap gifts um the 25th christmas day we went to my sister house and i lost my camera so I couldn't record like no good footage. The only footage I had was when we went to Adriana um little kickback Christmas thing that we had later on during the day. Met later on during the night. So and then I'm just now like getting my stuff from my mom's house and it's January 7th. So I didn't want to put out that old footage and it's a whole new year. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vlogmas that I did do. And the background, please don't mind, I'm in my grandma like kitchen, dining area or whatever. Because I was just tired of keep recording back there in my room. And sorry if you can hear that noise in the background. My grandma fridge makes some weird noise. So um, I'm going to try to put like some background music behind it to mask out the sound. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a... Um, each month, like I told you in my last pregnancy update, I was going to do, each trimester, I was going to do, um, excuse me, an updated, like, pregnancy, um, video, like, video just to update y'all on my pregnancy. So, as of today, I am 30 weeks in one day. So, we almost done, little boy. The first thing, I put it all, like, in my notes. Cause y'all pregnancy brain is real and I don't want to forget nothing. So, um, the first thing is a lot of people say that y'all please don't mind my hair. I just took that wig off and it just looked like, and then like sticking out in the back. I just look a mess. I did do my makeup because, um, I think, I don't know, probably gonna drop this one first. I did a maternity shoot. So I got my makeup done or whatever. So, um, a lot of people said that they have, like, morning sickness, like, in their first and third trimester. Um, my first trimester, I had, like, some morning sickness. And now I don't have any, like, I don't really feel the need or the urge to throw up or anything. So, yeah, that's good. Um, my second trimester, I had lots of energy. Now my energy is kind of going down because I'm just, like running out of breath really fast and really quick but my second trimester I had all the energy I got up and cleaned up all the time <laughs> even though I should do that anyway um, I just had a lot of energy to do a lot of things that's why you've seen a lot of videos because I have the energy to do it so yeah yeah this little hair in the back is really like bugging me um breast milk my breast milk came in well, I don't think it's really like breast milk right now. It's just like the liquid to like leads up to the breast milk. Um, that came in in my second trimester. That's probably the annoying, the most annoyingest thing that I'm going through right now because um, I don't like to wear bras. So I don't wear like um, breast pads or anything. So the milk like seeps through my shirts and like through my blanket, and my sheets and stuff, and my. Um, my grandma told me that it doesn't come out so because i'm ruining my shirts sheets and everything over this liquid like it's just so annoying the next thing is going to be doctor's appointments um my second trimester they were four weeks apart like my doctor's appointments now they're two weeks apart because i'm in my third trimester um i did do the glucose that's what I really want to talk about. Everybody had me so shook, so scared I was gonna throw up, and I was just—it was just like the nastiest thing on the world and the planet. Mm, it wasn't bad to me. Adriana went with me. I drank that in like a minute, and thirty seconds. Like I like chugged it down. It tastes like I have the orange kind, so it tastes like a um a flat orange Fanta to me. So I was just like. Let's just get this out of the way. I passed my glucose test, so I didn't have to go back and do the three-hour one. So I was just so happy. So blessed. 
<laughs> um the next little thing is baby shower so we're currently in january and my baby is due march 17th so my baby shower is february the 11th so i have been starting baby shower planning i sent my grandma um i shared a notes with her like everything that i like planned on having or that i want um i sent out invitations yesterday january 6th um, i sent my my target and amazon registry with them with the invitations so if you don't know what to buy the baby or me um uh, i gave you some like ideas that i would want and need because the thing like if y'all probably like girl why you i put like postpartum things because like um nursing bras nursing pad like the breast pads for your like nipples um i think that's all i put well like a peri bottle that's really it so the next thing is nesting i haven't started nesting yet um that's coming up really soon because <laughs> i'm already out of breath now as it is and i know like the bigger i get the more out of breath i'm going to be but i'm kind of waiting till my baby shower to see what all i get so that way i can wash all of his clothes together well for that portion i'm only washing zero to three months and then newborn i don't think i'm going to wash three to six and then six to nine because i have like time for that and i don't want to overwork myself so i haven't started nesting yet but it's coming up within the next four or five weeks that i need to start nesting and he's moving so he hear us talking about him with me so this next one is going to take majority of the video <laughs> i was going to make like a whole separate video about it but i was like why would i do that when i'm giving y'all my update and within the second trimester of my pregnancy i made my birth plan so we're just going to go over my birth plan and I'm going to put a picture up right here. I'm going to like um, blank out some information that's like, sorry if y'all hear that, it's people outside. But I'm going to blank out some information that's private that doesn't need to be on the internet. So let's get right into this birth plan. So at the top, I put my name, my emergency contact. My emergency contact, I always put my older sister Kiara because she picks up the phone all the time. Um, and if so, that's my emergency contact. So as you can see, <laughs> I got it before, during, vaginal birth, C-section, during delivery, newborn care. Like it's just like all in boxes. I didn't make this. I found like a template. So yeah so it said who you be with i left that part like at the bottom you can see that my mom is going to be with me and my is going to be with me um i know a lot of y'all probably like where's the dad um me and the dad both have weak stomachs and i'm trying to convince him to be in the room so he could see his son like be, like coming to this world but i'm not really the type to like like trying to push him because I know he's gonna come visit us as soon as like I have him but if it was up to me and I didn't see none of that or stuff like that I wouldn't want to be in there either so it's just gonna be my mom and my best friend um I would like low lights and um like common music uh I would like a birthing ball and I would like to be able to move and walk around the room I don't want to walk the halls. I feel like I don't want everybody looking at me and be like, oh, she about to have a baby or stop and talk to me. Not to be rude or anything. It's just I know I'm going to be in a lot of pain that I don't want to talk to nobody. I just want to get him out and go about my business. So I'm bringing my own clothing. Um, if I forget like a robe or um, like a hot, like a gown, then I'm going to set the gowns that they give me. But I plan on bringing my own. For the hydration, I didn't really know like what those were meaning. So I just skipped over that. Um, eating and drinking, I do plan on eating. I didn't know that you can tell the hospital that you want to eat. 
but i heard stories that people go number two while they haven't like given birth and i just don't want to do that so i'm just gonna eat ice chips because i can pee <laughs> i can just that's fine with me peeing well i'm fine with me peeing um delivery preference i'd rather have him vaginal and i don't want any um anesthesia if the pain is too high i don't want epidural i want the gas that they put through your iv it doesn't it's not as strong as the um epidural but it helps mask some of the pain i just don't want epidural i don't um i want the cord clamped immediately at the birth if i have to get a c-section you can only have one person in there i would choose my i'm choosing my mom i want a clear drape so when they pull my baby up i can see if my baby um have to go to the the NICU or whatever like he have to be rushed or something and i can't get like go at that particular time um i would like my mom to go with them um during labor again i would like to move around the room i want to use a birth ball i want to get eat ice chips or slushies from the hospital i want them to continue to give me fluids to like keep me hydrated um i don't want no inductions because i heard that like takes forever and no epidural so moving on to during delivery the positions i want to try is all fours and kneeling I heard sometimes that it's not best to be on your back. Of course, I'm going to be on my back. But I would rather, if that's taking too long or it's hurting in a particular spot, I would want to try all fours or kneeling. Uh, I'd rather just, like, tear on my own than them, like, cut. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't, I'm not comfortable with them cutting. But I'd rather just tear on my own because a lot, most people tear and they just like recover on their own versus i've never had anyone that i know or heard stories like on youtube about people getting cut so i'm just gonna rock out with the tearing i would like my doctor to catch a baby right here is a um immediately after delivery you can see i put a dot on take the baby to clean them up but I would actually like my baby to have skin to skin. So I need to go and fix that. Newborn care. I would like the umbilical cord immediately. Um, vitamin K. I want it to be delayed an hour. Because I would like to have skin to skin with him immediately. Basically all like the shots and stuff that he has to get. I will want them. I want them to wait an hour so I can have skin to skin on my baby. Golden hour is the skin to skin that I would like to have. Um, feeding purposes again. I'm breast breastfeeding, so I want them to help me like help him latch on and stuff. And then finally, rooming in or nursery. I would like them to keep my baby with me at all times. So that's my little birth plan that I have planned for when I give birth. <laughs> Moving on, I did video, like I spoke about this in a few videos. I took two classes. I don't think I have, I don't know. I think I have one or two scheduled still, but I took a postpartum class and I took a, um, a virtual class at a hospital. Um, I have started buying him things. People have started buying him things. So... He has some stuff just in case he want to come now. I just didn't buy a lot because I have a lot of siblings. I have a lot of family. My friends are going to think this is their child. So he's going to be pretty spoiled. And I don't want to overspend my money and stuff. Um, or overbuy. So um, I'm just not going to buy him anything else until my baby shower. And lastly, have I packed my hospital bag? I have not. So I picked out, my brother get, got him this Winnie the Pooh um, onesie and hat. And if y'all know, that's my baby shower thing. So 
I'm going to, I'm obviously putting that in the hospital bag because it's size newborn. And I would like my son to take pictures in that when he's born. Because it just goes so well with the theme and then, yeah. And um, I put two outfits of his clothes that he have already together. But I'm not sure if I'm going to really pack those two. I'm going to wait till I see all of his clothes to see. Because I'm, I'll just wait till my, um, what's in my hospital bag to like break it down to y'all. But I'm only packing, I think, three outfits. So, yeah, um, yeah, I haven't packed my hospital bag yet. But I know everything I'm going to put in there. I just have to put it in there and then I have to pack mine. My bag will probably be packed before his bag. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's all for this video. I hope you guys like this. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I've been seeing a lot of y'all watching, but nobody's really subscribing. So, what's going on? Do y'all not watch YouTube like that? Do y'all just, like, click on my link to just watch my videos or what? Subscribe to me. We lit. This year is really lit because I'm having my baby. So, y'all come along with me for everything. Y'all might not see him right away, but y'all gonna eventually see him before my Instagram and stuff. Don't tell them, but y'all are. So, yeah, subscribe to me. And I will see you guys in the next video.